What's good out there? So, I'ma just get to it. Um, so I saw the suck ass shit on Drink Champs and shit very quickly. Um, let me just say, I don't even like mentioning this fucking dub ass nigga name because it's annoying at this point. Nigga, you're like a mosquito bite that just doesn't heal, bro. All right, so let's just get to it. Irving Lorenzo, Magoo. It was never nothing about nobody believing in you, doubting your ability, none of that shit. I don't like your fucking beats, bro, to be honest with you. You hit me with maybe two, three beats that I felt was, you know, what I was fucking with. The rest of that shit, I, nigga, you didn't have a crew of niggas making tracks for you. They were just your tracks. The majority of your tracks was fucking trash, my nigga, since you want to go there. So it had nothing to do with, I didn't believe in you, the, 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 the bitch ass nigga shit, I don't even get, bro, because I've never heard you talk this way, and if you do, that's some brand new shit, let alone refer to me, nigga, and mind you, I put my mind, body, and soul on the line for you more than once in life, nigga, I can't say you done the same for me, we not cut the same, we not built the same, another reason... Um, since you won't get to it about why a nigga didn't want to fuck with you, it's because I smelled you was a sucker from a thousand feet away. And with me, it was only going to be a matter of time before you did some shit that would have had us at odds. But it don't matter because you've successfully done that now. Listen, my man, I'm going to make it abundantly fucking clear to you, bro. I don't give a fuck about what newfound glory you have. I don't give a fuck about what you've done, where you've been, where you're going. None of the above, my nigga. Don't get me fucked up. I've been very cool about it. I've been staying, you know, to myself about it. I don't really speak on it because to me, the past is the past. It's where it is. It don't exist now. However, with that being said, nigga, don't never in your motherfucking life come out of your face and call me a bitch ass nigga. And I've seen you curl up more than once, bro. Okay? You've called my phone and asked me why niggas wanted to fucking mop you, nigga. Your memory's short, bro. So... I'm going to keep it where it is. You feel me? I'm not involving nobody else because everybody else in my book is an innocent bystander. This is solely between Michael McDermott and Irvin Lorenzo. Simple and plain. So with that being said, nigga, I'm not addressing your bitch ass never again. Never again. Not about this shit. Not about what you can't let go of. Not about what fucking, I don't know, bro. You got a complex, nigga. From what I heard, you just got hit. Go live your fucking life, nigga. Make your movies. Do what you do. Do that shit, nigga. Let go of me. Let go of Ashanti. You should try that. That look kind of crazy. You understand what I'm saying? I guess that nigga Pimp Juice made better records or whatever it was. But whatever the case, bro. I'm not indulging in this fucking sucker shit anymore, bro. Not past this point. Past this point, you know, you know what it is. We all know what it is. You know? So, fuck out of here. Stop wasting my time, you fucking mosquito.